Uh huh. The sky is light gray of one tone. So bright, it's almost white. A white nightstand, it's empty. A sterile hospital bed. What? Ward 33. Convenient. So I mean to ask you, when I'm not like visually imposing on you, where do you go? Haha! <laughs> well, nowhere really, I just stop, you know? Being. Oh. Must be really scary. So she's Lila is my Tulpa? Haha. <laughs> not really. You do it all the time too, Will. When you lose consciousness or when you sleep without dreams. So not existing is like being asleep? It's not really like anything, as there isn't someone for whom it's like something. Not being doesn't really happen to anybody per se. Well, you just said it happens to me sometimes. It's very bold of you to assume that some that some you actually exists. Oh, that some you actually exists. <laughs> but Lila, you aren't making any sense now. I am here, I am talking to you. Is that so? But how could you describe that I, um, I, I don't know, like, like I'm young and maybe overanalyzing, but, and I realize like lemon soda and what? And I really like, what? I really like lemon soda and I broke my knee when I was in kindergarten. So your personality and your memories, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get little vignettes. Is that what's happening? Okay. You see, Will, there's a problem with what you just said. Oh, yeah? Yes, let's pretend for a moment you're right. And you really are your personality, memories, and so on. But isn't the one listening to me right now also you? Huh? Sure. And the one seeing me is you. And the one feeling all the different things is you. Let's call this you the perceiver. Uh-huh. We like to imagine the perceiver as a pupil of an eye. The perceiver may cast his gaze upon anything. Colors or sounds, touch or feelings. But how do you imagine it looking at itself directly? A mirror? Oh, I wouldn't trust a mirror, my dear William. The ghost on the other side may only look like us. So all right, in that sense, it really can't. The people can never see itself, so what? It means that whatever the people can perceive is not it. You can analyze your memories and your personality, yet the real perceiver always stays in the shadow. One of his human names is P the Prince, although he does not really have a name, of course. What the absolute f what? In that sense, there isn't really a difference between you and the and other people, Will. Huh? What do you mean? For you, where do other people exist? I mean, their minds, memories, and so on. In their heads? Wrong. You have no ability to see what's inside someone's head. To you, people are fictitious creation. A number of expectations generated from their actions. A phantom existing exclusively in your head. And the funny thing is, your own personality is too. What? I'm real, Lila. Even if other people may be imagined by me, my own character is... What's the definition of imaginary? Something that exists just in my mind? And where does your personality reside? I... It's all right, my sweet William. You, your memories, your mind. These are only temporary shards of colored glass. 
the visioner, the perceiver, the prince may only look through them and imagine for a moment that he is these shards. He never truly becomes them, and it's surprising how quickly he may look away from one to another. Remember, Will, the moment he looks at another one of them, he might think he's someone different. As you stare at the veil before you, you are filled with emotions of strange nostalgia. The curtains flap in the wind, yet you don't feel a draft. A hauntingly beautiful melody can be heard from behind it. For a moment, you can't help but gaze the shriveling fabric. Cool. Great. God damn it. Well, we're back on this bullshit again. Hey, girl, how you doing? If I find out that this entire thing is because I was a horned up boy who just wanted to like smooch on a girl. An old looking apparatus. Strange, apart from projecting, it looks like it also somehow receiving your its own image. Seems like its reels are detachable. You have placed a reel. Lila must be gone now. Oh, so now it's me. So this is like uh, that dude who took over his... Who, like, let Ouija take over his body? This is the kind of same vibe? So I became me, huh? I am the me of myself and I. This seems like the edge, sure. There's a boat. What's at this pole? Before I jump on the boat, what's the pole's deal? Huh. What if I want to go? What if I want to go? Well, shit.
I not have the keys anymore? Are you kidding me? Oh, son of a biscuit. I used the keys? No, I didn't. I didn't use the keys for sure. At least I don't think. I used the, the wheel on... Uh, the wheel, I think, changed the projector, I think. Maybe I go to the school. Ooh, I go to the party. Alright. We'll grab the keys, and then we'll go to her house. We won't go upstairs. Right? That can work. Right? 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 No. No. Well, hold on. Maybe this, maybe this has a purpose now. Right. So that's Matthew's locker. It's locked. Son of a biscuit! Okay, well, at least I know Matthew's locker. Wait, hold on. What are you doing? You're just moving? Okay. Let's play this game. Nope. I would still know it's 403, right? She would say it's next to this one. Do I have to do this? Ay yo. I remember you smiling, smiling. With my creepy smile, smiling, smiling. Look at my eyes, they're normal. <laughs> yeah, you. Okay, is that so? Martha, yeah, she wanted to wait for her there, man. She just wanted me to wait for her. Okay. Put on a show now. All right. So. Right. It's the classroom next door. Okay. So I have her address. I know what it is. Keys. No reason to take the pads. Uh mm, should I have not done that? Let's go here. Maybe he'll be like, no reason to. Get up from where? Um. Good evening. 
Young man, excuse my asking, do you live here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I totally do. You look confident, but... Oh, that's strange. We are a close community in this condominium. Yet I haven't seen you before, have I? Oh, yes, sir. Most definitely. I'm sorry, my boy. It's just that there have been cases of young men trying to deliver drugs here. I'm not... So let's just call up the concierge and ask him. I have the number right here. What's your last name? Uh, yeah, yeah. You feel that you won't get into the condo today? Hint, check the autosave. Right, so I need it. So, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um. Load. 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 I don't know the code for this. There's no way I can open this now. Guess I'll have to wait for somebody. Huh. So I have to 100% sit here and let the guy go in. Am I stuck here? What the shit? What? That didn't mean to do that. Can I get mad? Oh, shut up, you old fuck. Yeah. You made an angry face. Mind your own business. Whoa, whoa. Scram, old man. What, do you want me to cut you? He smiles in disbelief. What is all this? Do you think you're scaring anybody, punk? You reach into your pocket. He seems to have changed his mind. Get the hell away from me, his voice cracks. I sure hope you'll leave this place now because I'm calling 911 the minute I'm in my apartment. He leaves. The hell, uh, what he said is troubling, but you have more important task at hand. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that worked. Oh, we first person now, eh? I'll have to wait. Oh, this isn't good. Blue Velvet by David Lynch. The only cool thing in this apartment. She'll come at some point. Oh, this isn't good. It's evening. I mean, what did I expect breaking into her home that this guy was going to do? Like, this checks out. Who's there? Oh, uh, Will? Almost correct there, Miss Jennings. Uh, what are you? G -g -g you made an angry face. Ha help! Someone please! Ack! Wait. T Tanya? Is that you? Huh? T 
Hanya? Remember this, sweetheart. Name is Lila. Right, so Lila is the evil Topa that I let in, and she's like running the show, huh? Pardon? What? Oh, you know, just taking the bus home. Can I just close those eyes? Those wide, wide eyes? Officer? Hey, hold it, sir. Wait, is your name William Clark? Yes, that's me. Hey, Ted, Ted. Yes, I think we found the kid. William Clark, right? Yeah, that's me. You have to come with us, bud. Get in the car, please. mirror has a weird tint to it am i being watched just an empty table oh boy oh boy ready hey will i'm detective hutchins we talked a couple of hours ago remember now william i'm going to ask you a couple of questions okay okay Do you know why you're here uh no i i, I don't You made a sad face. You didn't look very confident. Your confidence level decreased. Oh no. The detective may have noticed that. All right. Now you are William Clark, correct? Yes, that's correct. Face remain neutral. You've been read your rights before, right? No, never. You've probably seen it in the movies. He reads you your rights. Oh, forgot to ask. Do you want water or anything? No, thank you, sir. All right. Now, Will, I have a photograph here. Do you know who this is in the photograph? So, Lila is... is okay, Lila is Tanya. I made... I made Tanya. Or I made Lila because I'm into Tanya. What was the relationship with her? We didn't know each other. Well, your face remained neutral. I see. Could you elaborate? Did you just say hello to each other? Did you talk sometimes? We talked, yeah. What did you talk about? I don't know, music and stuff? I don't remember, just normal stuff. Do you have any mutual friends? Mm, I'm not sure. You know, William, I've noticed a certain thing about you. I find you rather strange. You look like you're in some sort of comatose state right now. Why are you doing this? What do you mean? The last 20 minutes, you haven't been showing any emotions. I, I did. I did. Are you doing this on purpose? No. Really weird, buddy. Cut it out, will you? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man. What's going on? Loosen up a bit, would you? You acted all normal beforehand. What happened, man? Not sure I understand. 
Detective looks relieved. Okay. All right, good. Whew. Let's continue then. I say, could you elaborate? Did you just say hello to each other? Talk some, we talked, yeah. What'd you talk about? I don't know, music and stuff. I don't remember, just normal stuff. Do you have any mutual friends? Uh... I'm, I'm not sure. You made a surprise face. Martha Jennings is one of my friends. I think she and Tanya were rather close. So, Martha Jennings is your friend. All right. Now, Will, you said before that you weren't too close to Miss Kennedy, correct? Yes. The thing is, we've already talked to some of your friends today. Martha Jennings was one of them. They seem uh, to tell me that you and Tanya have become rather close some time ago. Could you tell me why they told us so? I don't know. Will, we need you to be very genuine. The stakes are high. You see, the real reason we invited you here is because Tanya Kennedy is missing. She's been missing for f more than five days. She is? Yes, I thought you knew that. At least that's what your friends say. They do? Why didn't you tell the truth, Will? I don't know. All right. You know it's not about us making you a victim, buddy. What we need is to find Tanya. Will you help us? Sure, I will. But please tell me more about your relationship. How did you two meet? I met at a party at Matt's place. You tell them how Will met Tanya for the first time. I see. So you two liked each other, didn't you? I guess so, yeah. In a romantic way? I'm not sure. Did you have sex? No. Your friend stayed otherwise. Angry. You made an angry face. They aren't my friends. Come again? They aren't my friends. They hate my guts, all of them. How come? I don't know. It's because I'm different. In what way are you different? You know in what way. I don't care about stupid stuff they talk about. I don't wear fancy clothes. I'm smart. Finally, you know. My face? I see. So how does this hate express itself? Well, for the most part, they just act like I wasn't there. You know, they'd uh, call me names, freak, weirdo, classic stuff, school kids. What else would they do? Hide my stuff, destroy things I own, steal from me. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they tried to frame me for something they've for something they've done to Tanya. Uh oh. Uh, what the fuck? You are agitated. The detective seems to have noticed that. They were pretty sure when they said it was you. Were you good at detecting lies? We've talked to Martha Jennings. She's lying, I'm telling you. She's always done that. Let me guess. They all just sat there with their stupid faces, as if they were worrying. Maybe some tears, eh? No fucking way it's me. Bullshit. Will? I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking murdered her. Like those Dada weirdos. Hell, some of them could be part of that Dada group. Now calm down. Calm down, William. I hear you. No need to be agitated. We are here to talk. And figure all those things out. You do realize they are friends with Michael Graves. And that the Dada are the right extremists? What? So, it's basically nonsensical for them to be part of it. Peculiar that you know about that group at all. Where have you learned about it? The internet? Where else? Alright, this isn't very important anyway. Let's change the topic for now. Now, I'm not going to grill you about this, but I know you've been part of a certain gathering. The Lawrence fraternity? Rings any bells? Yes, sir. Is this something you were comfortable talking about? Yes, sir. Even if it wasn't, you'd interrogate me anyway, wouldn't you? So please, ask away. Right now, I'll just need a couple of details. First, when was exactly that you enrolled? June 11th, sir. But I've been helping Father Lawrence for a while before I actually initiated. Alright, then what was the mission of the group? Did you try to convert as many people as possible? Not really, sir, actually. It seems that only father, Father's closest circle was allowed in. As for the end goal, I was never told what it was or if there was one. It seems I was too low tier. No chance to get higher in the hierarchy now since 
The fire? Tell me. More about that, please. You weren't present when it happened, right? Yes, sir. Why? It must have been a group meeting. I was at home, ill. Migraine. Is there anyone to confirm that? Yes, actually. Miss Hit uh, Hutchins, our concierge, was kind enough to come and check on me. Oh, so Dorothy's... All right, we'll check on that. Now, William, I will leave the room now. Another officer will come talk to you. All right, now I don't have much time. My name's Detective Fisher. Spit it out, kid. You know why you're here, right? This is where the part you won't like begins. I still don't know why I'm here. You made a surprised face. Well, I think you do. <laughs> Let me refresh your memory. Tanya Kennedy, your former friend. She's missing, all right. Now we know for sure you have something to do with it. There's no question there. So you better start talking. What should we talk about? Nope, not angry. Well, shit. You made an angry face. First of all, when did you last see her? I don't remember. Must have been, um, more than a month ago. More than a month, huh? Save those fairy tales for Ted. I told you about a month ago. Your face remained neutral. And where was that? We, um, hung out near my house. Where the exact place, please? The abandoned building used to be a condominium, I think. Weird place to hang out at, huh? What did you two do there? I don't know, just hung out and talked. What was your relationship with the girl? But Officer Hutchins has asked that already. Look here, bud. Oh, look here, bud. I don't think you get what's happening right now. You're in a police office and I'm interrogating you. You're in big trouble already. So I recommend you just answer my questions and stop fucking around. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. So let me ask you one more time. What was your relationship with Tanya Kennedy? We were friends. Sad. His face changes. So, friends. He seems to be lost in thought. Now listen carefully. We have found a female torso in the trash near your apartment. Yeah, no, that checks out. I've been taking out the trash every day and there was a there was a saw, sure. What? What? He ignores your reaction. The boys are doing DNA tests right now, but I'm pretty sure we both know who this torso belongs to. I don't, I... Did you do it? I'm just straight up asking you because there's no doubt in my mind about whose work it is. You look disgusted. Yeah. You do realize she has a family, right? Don't you want her mom and dad to have at least a little comfort in knowing where the remains of her girl are? Are you sure it's her? Are you stupid? I told you, we know. Now tell me, where the other parts are? You hid them well, didn't you? But you got lazy with the last one. Didn't think we'd find it. Did you use that saw in your apartment? Used, used for what? Disgusted, used for what? Disgusted, disgusted, disgusted. You look disgusted. The officer has noticed that. Oh, the smell must have been unbearable, right, Will? I've been to many, many crime scenes, William. The smell of blood, the smell of feces, those gurgling sounds the dead make sometimes. It must have been disgusting, right, Will? So, buddy, 
Don't play dumb. If we find even a little bit of DNA on that saw, and I'm sure we will, then you're fucked, William. Because even if you wash the blood off, you still have little things like fibers. Also, if the bone was cut, we can identify uh, the exact instrument just by the marks on the bone. It's absolutely precise. We can find out everything about, uh, about up to the specific model of the instrument used. Might as well tell me how you did it. Please, Will, it's no use now. I'll tell you something an old friend of mine used to say. Of all the people in the world, the best and the worst are drawn to the dead dog. Most turn away. Only those with the purest heart can feel its pain. I know you aren't a bad guy, William. I know you can feel the pain of others, can't you? I didn't do it, sir. William Clark, you don't get it, do you? Will, friend, buddy. We have the evidence, you little fucker. You fucked up. You fucked up and left your fingerprints all over her. Well, guess what? That's enough information for us to deduce who the culprit is. You remember him talking... Oh, you remember talking about the DNA test not being done yet. And you made sure William wore gloves. It's not me. I told you, we know it's you. It's not a question of who, but how and why. Oh, how's Lila? Why's Lila? Tell me, buddy. Why'd you do it? I did it. You look scared. Then who did, Will? Who did? I don't know. Look. Are you covering for someone? Is there a person you're protecting? This sounds promising. No. No, I'm not. Because if you are, it's useless, Will. This won't help you when you go to prison. They aren't even your real friends. Trust me, buddy. They aren't your real friends. I don't know who it was, sir. All right. You see... What's... Seems you weren't talking about something. It's warm. But aren't you... Aren't you Lila? Huh? What was that you said? Aren't you Lila? What? If it's a joke, I don't get it. Who's Lila? Oh boy. Okay, so... Is the implication here that... He created Lila... Based off of her... And they had like a thing, right? And he had the um, like the confidence and the emotional connection to Lila. And when he was at the party, he might have mistaken Tanya for Lila and still had that confidence level and was still very close with her. And what ended up happening is he picked her up at the party, brought her home, they banged, and then she was like, wait, who's Lila? Fisher, I've just received the news. Will, about today. May I ask you where you've been before it took you in? I was at school. You see, we received a call. There's a tenant at Berthwood. Isn't that where Jennings... Isn't that where Jennings live? The one we talked to today? Yes. Yes, Martha Jennings. And the tenant's name is Murray, I think. He described a young man with black hair entering the apartments earlier today. He also claims to have heard a girl scream. Are they here now? Yes, the squad's been sent there. Look, Fisher. Uh, I'll go check on them. You stay here. Sure. Say, William, I've just noticed. Why do you smell of detergent? Okay, so the, I got an achievement called Justice. So this is an ending ending? Thank you for playing. No, thank you. And you. Oh boy. Oh, what, what shit was that? What was that? Nice to meet you, Lila. I'm Special Agent U, FBI. 
Do we know each other? Oh, yes. We most certainly met before. I must have forgotten. What do you want? You see, I've been studying you very intently, Lila. I, too, have questions I'd like to ask you. What for? At the end of the day, I'd like to find out who you are. You amuse me, detective. You really are nothing like those fools. You seem to keep your eyes open. Oh, I expect an exquisite feast. Please, ask away. We aren't going to talk here, Lila. Meet me at a familiar place. A place you use for saving. I'll be waiting. What? You found me. Good job. Hello again, detective. Now, Lila, let me tell you what I've gathered so far. So as far as I'm aware, you are the one responsible for the deaths of two girls. Now, Tanya Kennedy was the girl that looked just like you. So why is that? I guess we may never know, detective. Well, if that's the game you want to play, let's do it. I'm a sucker for mysteries like yours. Is that so? The way your story goes doesn't seem to make sense, though. There seems to be no continuity. Half the time, I'm not even sure where it's today, or whether it's today, tomorrow, or a month ago. Is it delightful to see? Uh, it is delightful to see your optimi uh, optimism, detective. Oh, well, enough chit chat. Please pick a card. These are cards that I've earned. Who was that? It's William. Didn't you hear us talk? I did, but... So, it called you Lila. But you called it William. Well, of course. Film reels that are not needed have to go somewhere. This is where Williams went. I had to pull the same trick on him after what he did in the tower. You mean... I mean the one in the forest. The one with the pit and small projector room, where all previous film reels are lying around. So you had the reel. What's it for, really? Depends on who's steering. I tend to get rid of them. Will, on the other hand, likes to place them into the projector again. Peculiar. Please pick a card. Interesting. Have you heard of the term, devouring mother? It's a Jungian term that describes an archetype. A mother, incredibly protective, but in the same amount selfish. It is a mother who devours her children, stealing them from the real world. Disgusting. For many it is. Do you have a good relationship with your mother, Lila? Are you trying to be funny, detective? <laughs> no need to be hostile, Lila. After all, you are the one who came here. Please, pick a card. Who is the prince? No one. Whenever you say who, you are just pointing your finger at those stupid projector reels. The prince is not a who. If you want to see the projector light, you have to look beyond the film. Why do you yourself need a reel, then? It's an anchor through which you humans can understand me. Lawrence's worm tried to make an instrument out of it. They made a reel artificially. Too bad it had my face on it. I couldn't help myself. I always come when someone calls. But I was here before all reels, just like my father was. Please pick a card. I thought you'd be gone after that. Well, it takes a bit more to get rid of... Uh, that stupid reel. That film reel was created by William, but I'm not contained in it. It only resembles me a little bit. Just like that bitch Tanya. Why do you look like her? Does everyone see you the same way? The worms of Lawrence do. But there is some who can see better than others. Please pick a card. 
So a place where we first met. You might not know it, but I've been watching you intently, Lila. From the point William woke up in his apartment, right until the end. So, did it help you? Not yet. I'm still not quite sure. If I'm being frank, I have almost no damn idea about what happened before or after this day. I appreciate your bluntness, Detective. Does it feel right that William is most likely going to be prosecuted? I'm not sure. You see, at that point, I didn't know William that well. To be quite honest with you, I feel a bit cheated. I'm not sure if the way it ended was a was the victory of good or a terrible mistake. Too bad, Detective. <laughs> not unlike me, you don't seem to be easily satiable. Maybe we could talk over some more cards. Sure. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. You can go over them again if you like, but we don't have to. Can I not? Do I just escape? Back. Right, so these are the endings I've earned on a list of multiple, multiple endings. Understood. And there's more to learn. All right, well, there's one thing we have to do. There's one thing we have to do. And that is, uh, I think, quit the game. Ignore, uh, ignore my desktop. Just completely ignore it for a minute. Actually, we'll just do that. It's much easier. Um, and we'll go to Steam. And we'll get this, the other game on Steam. Huh? <clears throat> All right, store Lila. And there's another, who's Lila Demon? Play now. Well, this should be fun. Oh, cool. All right, well, here we are. Yep, summon to desktop. Love this. Do I quit? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, this is fun. This is cute. This is neat. Well, here we go. Bro, not like this. Can I make him bigger? Oh, cool. Oh, neat. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. I don't know what to do here. That's not cool. That's not... That's That sucks. Okay, so I summoned the demon. And now it wants me to open the game again? Well, how do I show you both? Okay, well, he's there. All right, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the demon right now. And then I wake up? For those who are curious, the demon is now, uh, its eyes are glowing. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. So the dude literally said, look at the diary table. If you're curious, this is this is what he says. Look at the diary table. So it looks like he's going to be telling me things, which is good, so you can hear it. And I don't have to show you the entire time. Oh, now he's gone. All right, look at the diary table. Oh, that's not it. 
Got a locker key. Oh, okay. Thanks, demon. Thanks, bud. I don't know what the code is, but it's my diary, huh? All right, back. He has turned off for the time being. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. He is not on anymore. Grab the bus to school. So we're going to the locker. I really want this guy to chime in again. His eyes were glowing. Life seemed good. Oh. Among other things, the old sticky note reads, Oh, and Graves, don't forget to check out my Twitter. My name's at Tom... God damn it. I don't have Twitter on my phone anymore. Son of a bitch! I hate this. Followed by Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Mars in shambles. On November 29th, we lost our Tanya. They found her in December. Bring her back now. Ethan Kennedy. Cute cats. Cute cats. Cute cats. Son of a bitch. All right, so that's a thing that I probably have to memorize. Oh, my God. If you see, if any of you see a sticker of a dot dot dog on your locker or at home or anywhere, don't hesitate to contact the police. Interesting. What do you mean, Chet Murray? Chet Murray died? What's the reply? I don't like this. Not at all. The shit is this? Followed by Erdorf Law. Okay, so this is just... Cats, cats. Malcolm Graves passed away. Strangled near Goth Street, right near where our school is. Guys, it's our Malcolm, also Big Graves. If you're reading this, I'm so sorry. What the fuck?
Okay. Question. Link's not copied my clipboard. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Son of a bitch. All right, real quick, real quick, back we go. I want to try to type in 200 Grand Beaver Avenue at some point, but what we really need is this. Uh, up. So z do down do do do. I'll just put it over here. Best code to her phone is zoop, 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 zoop. What? The shit? What? What? <laughs> oh. Okay, that works. 1734. One week ago, don't come, I changed my mind, William Clark. What the hell, dude? Now I'm totally coming, 3.02 a.m. Will, are you all right? I'm not joking, I don't want to see you anymore. Please don't come. Dude, I can see something's wrong. I don't care. I know you're scared and trying to push me away again. I'll be waiting for you there. Don't come if you don't want to, but I'll be there. Two months ago. It's all right, you don't have to like them. I know it's all right, and I don't. Especially Danny. I got you. He's a jerk and a fuckboy. I don't get why you still letting him fuck with Martha's feelings. I'll talk to him. I don't care at this point. Come on, don't be like that now, two months ago. It's because I'm fucking failure, Mike. Stop saying that about yourself. Come on, Mike. Face it. Can't you see it at least? I'm not blind. I see how you're suffering. From all the shit I'm doing to you. Look, I don't care about that. Oh, I know you love me and I love you. Isn't that what matters? Are you stupid? Mike. There's no way I deserve to be loved like that. By anyone. Out of, uh, out of all people, you don't need a burden like me. B.S. I love you. We all do. Want a call? I'm going to bed. One week ago. Where are you? Look, I know you don't want to talk, babe, but come on. You can't play with me like this. I'm going crazy here. Where the fuck are you? Tanya? 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 You delete the chat without reading it. Oh, shit. Okay. One week ago. Gorge, you there? Yeah, sorry. Just texting Martha about, you know. Yeah. So, what was that dream you had? You wanted to tell me. Remember? Yeah. Uh, it was a cool one. I was like this gorgeous woman, sitting among poppies and roses and myriad other flowers, which I didn't know the name of. Completely nude. And there was this faint music playing in the air. And like, my hair was golden for some reason. Completely golden. I was combing them with a beautiful comb adorned with many little symbols. I think it was copper? Holy shit, that's a detailed dream. Did it end there? No. After a while, I noticed something strange. It was like one of the poppies was different from the rest. Its bud was hanging lower than others as I came close to it. As it turned to as I turned to look inside, it turned out there was a mirror inside of it. I've seen by own face. But um the eyes in the mirror were insane. They weren't mine. They were you quickly to read the remaining messages. You're in great danger, girl. Call me or visit my website at God... Oh, link block. Okay, well, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. The note reads, Shopping list. A bag of milk. 
ice cream. The note reads, new address, 2524 Clearmount Avenue. Don't give FedEx the old one, stupid. You moved ages ago. What was it? Two, two, 2524 Clearmount. We have Tanya. So what was the one I could type in? What was that? That was, uh, that was 200 Grand Beaver Avenue. Let's try that. 200 Grand Beaver Avenue. Whoa! Okay, well, here we are. Coffee as usual, Lila? What? She doesn't wait for you to answer. Thanks. Detective Yu's been here earlier today. Huh? Really? Yep. He didn't ask anything about you, though. Hmm, makes sense. He doesn't even need to, that sneaky jerk. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Is he still figuring out, you know, who you are? Well, obviously. We wouldn't be here if he wasn't, would we? Well, yeah. Have you thought that maybe he's just giving us more time to more time out of pity I mean it could be that he already knows that you're a shh shut up <laughs> sorry just teasing oh come on you know you's listening even now sure otherwise I wouldn't be here talking to you he must think he's really powerful mustn't he guess so he's certainly good at figuring things out nosy guy give him that well at the end of the day his curiosity is what keeps us alive that and his pain yeah poor guy actually to think how much of the time he gives us is filled with suffering what's he doing it for then he hopes for that slither of satisfaction our world is built so gives him little pieces of info so he feels as though he's getting somewhere. Doesn't he realize that 90% of his time consists of pain? And only like 10% is goodness? I don't know, even so, he's a machine of pain. A suffering generator. As all humans are, at least his attention is what keeps. Well, come now, don't give out too much. I know we haven't talked in a long time, but he's listening. <laughs> yes. He'll pester me about this for sure when I come back. Do you have to? It's up to him. It's up to you to decide. Well, thanks for coming today. I rarely see you these days. Yeah, I kind of missed all this. What? A fresh made cup of coffee. You wonder who it's for. I've unlocked a new palette, coffee beans. Hey, I wonder what that was. Okay. Interesting. So that's, hmm. So that's what I got from the shit. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Steam. Uh, who's Lila? Oh God. If that's from that, what's on here? What's on here? You know there's some shit on here. I'm an AR ARG person. I know how this shit works. I will figure this out. Are there images? Is there something? That's the party scene. Baltimore Street Station. Uh...
There's something here. There's something here. I don't know what. We'll find it. We still haven't gone to the party, which is the thing we could do. There is 100% something here, and I just don't know where to look for it. But when I find it, I will have achieved greatness. But you wouldn't, they wouldn't, knowing how this works, they wouldn't do, they wouldn't do a, mm, 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 there is something here, by golly, by gosh, by golly. Point shop items available. What the shit is this? Vines? Crazy. That's terrifying. I do not like that. Will smile. It's an animated sticker. Will angry. Fields. The boiler room. That's neat. That's a fun. All right. So that's. They could. I don't think they have control over the way the shop looks. Hmm. 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 Hold on. Am I stupid? Can I look at this image in the background? Yo, shut the shut the front door. Is there something? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Can I view the achievements? End of discussion. You don't see any like numbers or things that seem out of place. Mm -hmm. Who's Lila? David Lynch. 15, 6, 50 plus hours. Uh... The demon, is the demon working at all? Seems dead. I mean, it was working. We, we have to, we have to, we'll, we'll do, we can summon him again. Uh, I mean, the demon's on right now. He's, 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 he's on. He's doing his thing. Demon, demon is demoning right now. But surely there's something I'm missing. I feel like, hmm, hmm. Visit the website? Same images, same thing. Press release? Love the David Lynch quote. Nothing. All right. There's, I mean, mm, inspect console code. Stop this nonsense. They wouldn't do this. What the fuck is this? 
There's an Easter egg somewhere in Dev Tools behind a call. What is this? What does this mean? That that can't be. All right, this is the web page though. There's something. There's something here. There's something here. But I feel like everyone would come to this page. This would be the page people would come to. And the question is, where would it be? I just don't have, I don't think I have enough information at the moment to, to guess. View the manual? There was a manual? View the manual. Oh, shit. Nope. That's an ending guide. I'm not going to look at that. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just we'll stop that for now and we'll go back to the game. All right. Um, the demon is summoned. All right. The demon's on. He's demoning. Right. I did that before, demon. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Do I? Well, we'll take the locker key. Back. And then we'll leave. Uh, right. I need the trash bag. What the dinkus? So in theory, I have access to a new the the new area now. Her the twenty five whatever the shit that was. Right, let's go here, Tanya's. Maybe the demon will. Oh, but this is so wrong, isn't it? I guess so. Yeah. Do you love me, Will? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. What's wrong? I'm sorry. It just felt weird to say that. For some reason... I mean, I... I get it. If I were you, I wouldn't trust myself either. No, no, no. It's not about that. You just remind me of someone I knew. Is that so? Honestly, I feel a bit offended. But after what I did to Mike, I don't reserve anything better, do I? But aren't you... Aren't you Lila? Huh? What was that you said? Aren't you Lila? What? If it's a joke, I don't get it. Who's Lila? Some girl you like? No. No, it's... I don't remember who that is. I don't... I don't remember. I don't remember! Will? Well, are you alright? Will? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. My face just doing its shenanigans again, I guess. Don't worry, dear. What? Something's wrong. What? Oh boy. Okay, well, I can't go to the. I can't go over there. The hell's going on, Will? Tell her to be quiet. Will's not here anymore. Uh-oh. Please be quiet. Everything's all right. What's gotten into you? What? Wh wh if this is a prank, don't even bother calling me after that. What the fuck is in your arms? I don't understand, William. This is too much. It's... 
don't look like him at all. Will, what happened to you? See, Will? This is what you get for trying to get rid of me. Watch carefully. You can begin. Sure. There's no need to scream, Tanya. Everything's... So is that the only use for the demon right now? I, I just don't understand. So far he's done barely anything. And we're missing, we're missing a code for the PC. And we're missing a code for the book and we're missing two keys. Um, let's go to the demon. What does this say? Some rooms from your face will now appear. Sometimes it's the room itself. And sometimes it's an item for the, de the demon is interested in. Listen for what it has to say. So he's going to appear randomly at certain points. This little guy's going to pop up. And this is, this is the image, huh? I don't like him. I'm taking a stand and finally cutting toxic people out of my life. Okay. This guy said, sometimes I touch myself in front of him. That's cool. That's cool. Great. You would think there would be something here. Is it here? No, he would there would be there would be no way that he would have control over that. He has control over his page. I know this because I've had to make a Steam page before. So I'm trying to hmm, update history. No updates. Not for this. But maybe this. It's tripping me out. It's tripping me out. Who's Lila on Steam V6? <sighs> Wish I knew better how to, to search for like a three digit or four digit number on here. Parameters, mini shoot. Like, wouldn't there be, there be something that would stand out, right? Stand out. Play Damon. No, I mean, yes, no, I absolutely understand control F, but I don't know what the numbers are, so I don't know what I'm searching for. Like, I don't know what I'd be looking for in particular. Like, yeah, I could search for it, but... Gotta be up top. Who's Lila? Bunch of shit. I just don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what we're looking for. The problem is, it could either be it could either be the code for the computer, which in my mind seems more likely, right? It's a code for computer, right? So the computer code would be in the computer code. Is it 159? Because I see 159 repeat multiple times. Uh, 
Hold on, let me just write this down. Back to the notes I go. All right, 159 is one of them, I guess. It's worth trying, I guess. I can't believe this is what I'm doing. I can't believe this is where we're at. 159 appears again, but it's 15912 because the. Mm, fuck. All right, let's add a 12. All right, 15912. This doesn't seem right. This seems stupid. I have no answers. Fuck. Question. If I type in who's Lila, is there anything? If I just do this, what does that take me? It takes me to these, and this takes me to here, and this takes me to this, which takes me to here. Here's my question. How would I get access to, to, to this image in the background? Save as? Well, here we go. This is me now, Jesse Cox, madman. Okay, well, this is fun. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially in the danger zone. Stealth? This is called stealth? Oh no, that's a stealth mechanic. Okay. Um What are we doing? What the shit are we doing, Jesse? Why are we doing this? Ellie? What the fuck are we... What the fuck is this? Nope, that's weird, but not it. I can't believe this is what I'm doing. I can't believe this is what I'm doing. This is madness. Yep, it's a little tiny baby screen. That's that. Game highlight mage spacer? Don't know what the fuck that means. Okay. Um. Movie. How do I get the background image? What was the bat? What is this image back here? That is a a cursor on the face. Look for the cursor on the face. Is this it? Right here. Nope. I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna find something in here and I'm gonna be the smartest man who ever lived in the history of life. And Aristotle will be like, my goodness, I'm so impressed by your smarts. I just don't know what the fuck. <sighs> the header. Is there anything in this? I thought maybe because this looked like a heart over here. Do you see this? I thought it was a heart. Is that something? Bro, is that something? Here's the problem. I'm now seeing things. I, this looked like a five over here. I was like, oh, five, four, nine. But I don't know that that's real. Meanwhile, this over here looks like something but might be nothing. I don't. All right. Well, hold on. If we're going to get weird with it. That's the header. Right. So that's that. But what is the... Surely there would be a banner, right? Like, a, like the Steam... Like this background image surely would be something. Am I just stupid? What is that called? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, this should be, in theory, game highlight mage spacer header. 
shit. Come on, man. Is it possible? Hold on. Is this going to just load this page? Can I? How do I? Mm, how do I get to the image in the background? If I could just delete this screen right here and see what was behind. It might be nothing. It genuinely might be nothing. And this could be a giant waste of time. But if we're, if I have a man on my desktop and this is the same shit. And this is the same shit as Pony Island. There's something weird here. Inspect. Okay. I need to find store header. That's what that is. Text, JavaScript, game hover, footer. Oh, can I, um, what would it be called? It'd be called banner. Not Steam banner. What is that? Nope. Banner link, banner languages. Responsive title, banner link, banner link, responsive banner link, responsive banner link. I just want an image file, not whatever the hell they're sending me to. Awards. Well, none of this is it. None of this is it at all. I guess it wouldn't be, I guess it wouldn't be a banner then. You ever just think you're, you're just dumb? You ever just think, I'm dumb. I'm a dumb guy. I'm, I'm just dumb. I'm just a dumb man from dumb town. And this isn't going to be anything, and I'm wasting my time, hours of my life, wasted. Just wasted. For stupid shit. Nothing here. This is nothing. I don't know why I keep focusing on that. Like, it's the only image that appears to be an image that I could, that they can mess with. Yeah, I got, I got fucking nothing, dude. Oh, my heart. Okay, I'm so broken. All right, let's do this. Especially if Krendor's here in chat, I might as well make him suffer. <laughs>